The Digitec IPP10 is a unit which is unique as it addresses all the needs of a gigging musician with professional equipment as well as the needs you have when you play and practice or produce music at home, in the studio or somewhere on the road. It adds an Apple iPad to control its function and effects and on top of this you can incorporate GarageBand or iTunes into the structure of the IPP. Through this, you have an extremely flexible jam and practice platform as well as a powerful sound tool with a modern and intuitive control. You can use the IPP Stompbox and Effect models as well as the Amp and Cabinet models, but as it features both an Amp loop and a Stomp loop, you can bring in the sound of existing equipment and just control or customize it using the IPP10 control functions. Once it is loaded and launched, you can see something similar to this and you can start building pedal boards right away. Because you do not have to use the internal amp models as the IPP10 features an amp loop, you can use the core sound of any amp which features a serial effects loop. For the next example, I use the sound of my two-channel tube amp which sounds like this completely dry. <laughs> Now my amp sits in the amp loop of the IPP10 and I'm using the so-called 4 cable method. Please check out the Digitech site or search the internet if you're not sure what the 4 cable method is. <laughs> Now this is how you slide your iPad into the slot of the IPP. Connect the cable, lock down the frame and switch your IPP on. After you have launched the Nexus, the first presets pop up and you can start creating your own pedal boards. Here's how you change a stomp box to another model. To alter the settings on a stomp box, just double click the stomp box and do this. In order to change the sound of an amp model, just swipe your fingers across the control of the amp. If you don't like that amp model, here's how you change the amp model or the speaker model. Thank you. 